First responders and military personnel are being treated to free range time this week thanks to South Dakota Salutes. This year's event is seeing a 30% increase in attendance. And Kelloland's Matt Holson takes you Hunter's Point in Humble to show you what this event means for those who put their lives on the line every day. More than 360 people are taking aim in South Dakota salutes. It's the event's fourth year, but it's the first year for Roger Polarize with the South Dakota Army National Guard. <laughs> great, it's a great day. Obviously, you, you get this uh, caliber of people out here to, to uh, put this on, and the people that get to come out here and enjoy this, it's, it's a great event. Polarize is grateful for the support and the chance to dust off his weapon on the rifle range. I, I just come out just to, just to warm up the barrel a little bit and get a little trigger time. Jason Jansen is getting some time in on the sporting plays with members of Garrison Fire. New to the department, Jansen says getting together like this outside of work is great. I'm pretty new, so um, some of these guys here deserve a lot more thanks than I do, but um, I appreciate the thanks and what everybody's doing here. Heather Douglas with American Bacon Trust felt the need to pitch in. She's volunteering as a photographer. My husband's actually on fire department here for the city of Sioux Falls. Um, he's been doing it the past 10 years and he's actually been to this event as well. Douglas says first responders and military personnel sacrifice a lot to do their jobs well and it's great they're being rewarded for it. For Polarize, he just loves serving his country. The camaraderie and, and the people you serve with, there's, you couldn't ask for a better bunch of people. In Humboldt, Matt Holson, Kelloland News. South Dakota Salutes takes place today and tomorrow at Hunter's Point. For more information on the event, just go to this story at kelloland.com. Well,